Hello, hello, welcome back to the channel. I got you to stick around, didn't I? Now, I said I would update the collection as it grew. And grown it has. All right, you can smell the dead grandparents on these smackaroos. Oh yeah, the premier way to see icicle titties. Oh, what's going on? Actually, I haven't seen this one, but I have Iron Giant on VHS, and that one always has an ad for this, so I've always wanted to see this. I think it's one of those forgotten holiday movies people don't really talk about. Uh, I'm pretty excited personally though. Got one for the missus. Apparently this is one that she watched a lot as a kid. So she says, I am going to be subjected to a part of her childhood. It's got Danny DeVito. Can't be that bad. Got 0021 right here. Three of these boys add to the collection. Got one of my favorite Jim Carrey's, Liar Liar. Uh, this is probably one of the earlier things I saw him in. Uh, either that or Grinch. I mean, honestly, same movie, right? And then one that had me laughing in the store. I literally squealed when I saw her. Never ending story, but a cartoon. See, I love the live action ones. I've seen all three of them. Uh, I haven't got them on VHS yet, even though they're common because I'm going to be very particular with their case. Uh, this is about the standard of what I'm accepting. I want it to look almost brand new and Kids watch that movie a lot, so they're always fucking cracked out the seams and stain, got Cheetos all over it. Gross, gross things to find, which is why I haven't sought after it on eBay. I want to be able to touch it, see how it looks. But look at this. There you go. Dims the prices I was talking about. A whole 99 smackerinis. Look at the dog. Oh my god, I love him. But yeah, this is the kind of quality you're going to find in person you got some ripped ones and trust me there are some completely destroyed tapes you'll see in goodwills they more just throw them out so something you always want to do check the magazine make sure that is what is on there because sometimes they'll mix them up and it'll be a james bond in a james bond case and that's all they look at and that is never a fun time when you get home and you're trying to get charlie brown's christmas and oh no christmas with the cranks nah Another fun thing about Goodwill, some of these actually got for cheaper than their sticker. They have these colored sticker days where they take like, I think it's like 30% off or 40% off of the thing. So this 79 cent was actually less than 79 cent. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's like 50 cents, but it's still something that I, if, if you can get them at Goodwill, I think that's better. If you're out of the States, the thrift shops are going to be your best bet for it. Um, they get thrown out every time someone's grandma or grandpa passes. You'll see a flood of these things come in. And then children movies. I mean, people just have these out the ears. You find them everywhere. I think VHS was probably the best way to entertain your kids. Because when it was done, you didn't have to put it in yourself. They weren't as fragile as CDs. So they kept releasing children's movies for ages on these things. Because, I mean, you're not going to scratch this, baby. I mean, unless you're, like, intentionally pulling out the tape. This thing's pretty solid. With that said, every now and then, mistakes do happen, and you need to know how to fix them. I have a copy of Men in Black that is completely destroyed, and today we will be taking apart, switching its tapes into a good case, and we're, we're going to be fixing it, making, getting rid of something I don't want, and using its case to fix what I do want. Let's get these boys out of the way. I'll be doing is repairing this, a good movie because it's got a bit of a crack. If you look here, it's a bit, bit grained all over and putting it in to this one. Because I don't fucking want to watch this anyway. Okay, so we're gonna have to take this one apart, get its tapes into here and not mix anything up. Suppose we should start with the easy one, huh? We're gonna take this label, heal it. They should peel pretty easily, but it's better to use the original. Cause you can't get more right than the real thing. Nice and easy, nice and easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Get that sticker residue right off of there. Oh, there's naughty bits are showing. Ooh, that's a bad boy. Ooh, that's a bad one. All right. Now I'm gonna take this and hide the sins. Nobody wants to know what you used to be. Your old life is behind you, my pretty. Good as new, no one knows. Now, all the plastic and internal bits for this, I'm just gonna jank them straight into the trash. 
they're honestly useless to me. But I am going to keep the magnetic tape reels from this. And the reason I do that is I have a mild interest in making things that, uh, putting movies that weren't on VHS onto VHS in a somewhat official looking way. Now, there are already companies that do that. That's fine. But I'm not trying to collect the movie. I want to make it. That That's the hobby for me is taking these things apart working with them, making sure they're nice and clean and functional. So let's get on screwing. It's a bit quaint, ain't it? Okay, put this in here. And stop going to town, boys. Let me in. Ooh, this one's tight. Oh, come on, let me in, let me in, let me in. <laughs> I got it. I didn't get all that one. Come on. Show me what you've got. Yeah. Let me in, please, sir. I want to see your naughty bits. All right. Now, that is good. Now, there's a little button right here you're going to want to press. That'll let you open up the hatch and see, see the tape itself, see its heart. And from here, you should be able to unhook, right, like that. You got to bend a little bit. Don't be scared. It won't break. As I say, fixing a broken tape. Come on. Give it to me. All right. From here, it should be good to go. Ha, ha, ha. Looky here. From here, you can see actually how they work. Spins this way, goes this way. It's pretty easy. But more importantly, what you want to look at is how this tape is fed through. It goes between this white bit here, around this silver doohickey, back around right on top of this silver lining, and through this pin. Now, you don't want to do it wrong. It's These machines require precision to work and if you mess it up your tape's gonna go spool and it'll be stuck and you'll have a dead VCR and a dead tape and then how would you watch Will Smith conquer the aliens you wouldn't okay and these just will lift right out of there come on lovely no need to be shy we are acquainted now and just to be safe I would uh, take it just spin it as much as you can around here so none of that magnetic good good is showing because if that gets damaged, your movie gets damaged. Uh-oh. We had a crit in here at one point. Now, the new Men in Black. <laughs> Flip her around and give her the one soul. And like that, we're in, boys. That one came out a lot easier. Oh, jeez, I made a mistake. Oh, no. Okay, I opened this upside down, which, if you were doing a repair, would be annoying because all the components would be in out of whack. But, hey, it's just happily ever after. It'll be fine. Man in black, as naked as that wheel is, it will work. Here, this white boy is hanging out with his friends. Please hang out with your friends. They are your friends. Please love for daddy. I don't want a lonely boy. There we go. Okay, and this should click. Clicky clicky. Clicky clicky. Clicky clicky. -click. You don't want this to be loose at all while reassembling. Come on, fall into your hole. And you see, I'm trying to get this to line up with this, and it is not wanting to cooperate. I don't know why it's like that. It's really not like in one of these things. Something is making it wonky. And there we have it. We have a brand new Men in Black in all its glory. Ignore its crimes. 
<laughs> we don't need to, we don't need to hide the sins, hide the sins. Okay, now this is the primo way to experience Will Smith in his alien busting glory. Does it fit in its sleeve still, lads? I have a suspicion that this new hood is not gonna let it live its life freely. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's that's a bit rough. That's a tight fit. Hey, it worked though. <laughs> Okie dokie. So that has been the video. And now the only thing left to show you guys is this thing getting right in my VCR and having itself a little placey. Right there you're seeing the best setup this side of Canterbury. I gotta hold open the door because I'm too lazy to fix it. Get out of there Jack Frost. I'm done looking at them titties. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, this not want to go. Oh, should I force the issue? I don't think it likes the mixed matched hood. Here, I can let me fix that. Okie dokie. Now, round two. Here we go, boys. Let's see how she do. Come on, Willie. Oh no. Oh, is she playing? Oh, boys. I think we may have gotten something. Come on, I believe in you. Please tell me I didn't put the tapes in backwards. Uh, ah! <laughs> Columbia, you're beautiful. Oh my god, it, it works. <laughs> it's a functional tape. Aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, give it to me. Give me the THX. Oh yeah, that's the stuff right there. Oh yeah. Oh, I tell you what, nothing better than a good old TH Master Audio. Okay, well, I guess now this is going to serve as a coffin. You've seen better days. You know what, actually, it'll probably make more sense, dude. <laughs> Just, uh, tell God I was nice. If you ever wanted to know how durable these are. Pretty, uh, pretty flimsy once you take out the spine. Just gonna slap that away. It's great for the garbage.